Beyond Expeditions are back with another adventure and this time in the land of the Celestial Mountains, Kyrgyzstan. Let's go! We travelled deep into the uncharted regions of Kyrgyzstan, got onto frozen lakes, understand their culture, stay with nomads and experience all their food. Here is the land of Celestial Mountains. Good morning guys. It's the first day of our adventure and we're heading deep into the mountains into Sonkul Lake. We're gonna go on horseback and ride six hours up into the mountains and stay in one of the two yurts with a family that's waiting for us up there. It's gonna be exciting times, guys. Yeah. Good boy. Look at this guy. Yeah. Fully protected like a ninja. Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It's lunch time right now. And check it out. The sausage. And these are dumplings from um, dinner yesterday, which we were too full to finish. Mm. But actually, quite nice. Reminds me of the momos from Nepal. It's salty enough How's for it? us to keep going. Yeah, we need it. Sustenance. We battled the cold winds up into the mountains, and we finally managed to push through the storms and made it to our yet camp right beside. Song Cool Lake. We are now in the middle of Song Cool Lake. We are stepping on the lake itself. Yep. And apparently it's already so cold that the ice is actually 20 centimeters deep. And we're trying to dig a hole right now. Do not want to fall in this because look at how deep. Oh my god, how long is this thing, man? Hello man! Oh. I'm gonna freeze to death! Oh, man. How's it? Pure. <laughs> <laughs> Clean, fresh, refreshing. All, the, all should try. The next morning, we left the yurt, ah! got onto a sled. It's Christmas came early, rode our horses on the frozen Songkul Lake and headed to the next city, Naren City, for our next adventure. Good morning, guys. We're leaving our little cozy guest house in Naren City. And we're going for a scenic six seven hour drive right into the mountain so if you're staying in a container something different than a normal yet that Beyond Expedition always does so we're gonna stay in a container and we're gonna horse ride tomorrow deeper into the mountains into Kelsu Lake in this uh, chilly weather hot tea or hot coffee is always your best companion A different experience from the year we had uh, two days ago. Yeah, but I'm sure it'll be cozy as well. This is where we will be staying today. And apparently this is even warmer than a year camp. So we have the heater here and even solar powered lamps which we'll be seeing later on. This is home for the night. Two nights actually. Oh my god. We are having for the first meal the soup with noodles. We call it kesme. Uh, yeah, one of the national dishes um, with meat, some potatoes. For the main meal, um, we are going to have uh, kurdak, uh, which is a very honored, popular national dish uh, with um, some meat. This is from the mountain ship that this guy over here, Meda, who is a certified <laughs> hunter, <laughs> caught mountain goat from the mountains over here near Kinsu Lake. <laughs> the meat, very good. Thank you. Rock man. Thank you. <laughs> We're here in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna go on horseback on four hour ride to Kelsu Lake. Yeah. Pretty excited for this one. Kelsu Lake is in between two valleys, so we're gonna see the frozen lake right in the middle. Having cheese and biscuit, what kind of hot tea? The best thing ever. The teacher for having a wall. <laughs> the next day, 
we headed to Bokun Baevo, home to the elusive Eagle Hunters of Kyrgyzstan. We're here in Bokun Baevo, where we're going to spend a day with the legendary Eagle Hunters up in the mountains and hopefully we'll catch a prey. And today we have a very young Eagle Hunter with us and his name is Salavat and we're going to follow him all the way with his trusty Eagle, also nicknamed the Lightning. As they wait, eagle hunting is not an easy task and it requires a lot of patience. Our day with the eagle hunters didn't turn out the way we expected. Oh, they're coming! Oh, Bail! I see them! Okay, guys, things just turned out for the better. We just saw our eagle hunter and our boy Bail coming right at back. And even though we didn't get to see an actual catch, spending a day with them taught us a lot about their eagle hunting culture and the struggles to keep this tradition alive. <laughs> we said our goodbyes to the family and headed for our last big activity. We're here finally at the Karakoski Resort and we're gonna take our first ever snowboarding lessons and all of us are beginners. So, pretty exciting. Snowboarding up in the Tension Mountains in Karakol Ski Resort. We toasted to our wild nomadic adventures and headed back to the capital city, Bishkek. <laughs> Finally back in Bishkek and we're in the last spot of our trip, the Osh Bazaar. The Osh Bazaar is one of the biggest bazaars of Bishkek in the boundaries of the city and the, here you can find anything that from starting from dry fruits to the clothing. Ending off our trip, we watch a traditional music performance at a local restaurant as we reminisce all the crazy moments we had during this expedition. It's the end of our adventure here in Kyrgyzstan. It's been a wave of cultural experiences. And with that, see you on the next one. Beyond Expeditions, signing out. <laughs>